Do you have a romantic life? <laughs> Very romantic. I, I adore my husband. I love the sight of him. I find him so attractive. Like there, there's no details about him that I don't find attractive. His balding, his balding. I don't know what it is. I'm like, ah, he's got a little freckle. Right? Like there's no part of him that I'm not like enamored. I don't know. It's weird. It's the funny thing is I'm telling you guys the other day, I was thinking in my head, I was thinking in my head, I wouldn't, I literally, this sentence came up in my head. I wouldn't change a thing about him, including the color of his toenails. That literal sentence popped into my head days ago, including the color of his toenails. I don't know why, but I was, I was so in love. Ah, oh, it's too early to start his crying. So you know, there's, there's love and there's in love and I am in love with my husband. I wasn't attracted to balding men until my husband, like he changed it for me. Morning, Sean. Hello, good morning. I'm glad you were talking about that because it reminded me of something I wanted to tell you. Morning. We were getting ready to go somewhere. I think we were just going to have breakfast, this little cafe, um, that we adore in, in the, in town. And, um, it was just this moment, like we got into the car and I don't know if it was the music playing or, or if it was just the moment or what, but we had a really good conversation before we got in the car and we had a good morning and everything was just really nice. And, and I had this like overwhelming sense of gratitude and like, like that love that you were just explaining about your husband uh, for Juliet and I got emotional. Like I, I started to tear up and I don't, I don't know that I've gotten emotional in front of her yet. Um, uh, but it, it wasn't like they weren't spilling over. I just, I started to get, I started tearing up and, and she noticed it right away. And I was just like, you know, I, I just feel it's weird because I, it's like, I wanted to tell her that I love, that I love her. Right. We, we haven't really been used to that language yet, Yeah. but that was the first time where it felt like there was few other words to explain how it felt other than. The, I settled on gratitude. Like I'm just so grateful for the the relationship I have with you. And I told her it also just feels it feels like we're gearing up for a, a beautiful life together. And and she just responded like the same way. Like you know th you know she got a little teary eyed. <laughs> I was like I just did my makeup. <laughs> I wanted to share that with you. And I was wondering when it comes to that language, what what, what do you think about it? Like, is there like a... I'm ahead of you. I'm ahead of you, JW. Okay, let's hear it. When Dennis first started coming, when he was coming to see me, and he was coming regularly, he's an outstanding human being. How could you not fall in love with this man? So, of course, I started to fall for him because his, his kindness, his respect, how respectful he was, his intelligence. It took a while for the humor to come out. That he's that kind of person that it takes a while to get to the, the funny part of him. But I was just really liking him and I was liking him and liking him and liking him and liking him right the the increase in like I talk about this when I I talk about using that no kissing for three months dating rule how how it goes from like the more you learn about him the more you like him the more you like him the more fondness more fondness you start to feel the more warm and fuzzy you start to feel so I was feeling that warm and fuzzy for him so what I started to say is I'm really fond of you isn't that a lovely way of saying, I have so much emotion for you. I'm very fond of you. And when you, when you say to somebody that you just have so much emotion for, doesn't it just, that tone, doesn't it sound like, I love you? But it's not quite those words yet, but it still tells them the emotion you have. I'm so fond of you. Because that makes sense. and. It's almost like I can sense, or I have been able to sense, like she's been, I, I feel like she's been wanting to say it for a month now. Mm -hmm. Like I think, I feel like she's been wanting to say that to me and also kind of holding back that statement. I, I don't know if it's because of the, the rule that we, pra you know, practicing these, these boundaries and stuff. I think she's still 
trying to practice that boundary, right? Um, in a way, like without having to come out and say it. And I think, or at least from what she's communicated to me, she has expressed those words to people way before they ever earned them or deserve them or anything. And it looks like it's painful that she wants to express it, but she's holding back. I, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if she's waiting for my lead or if... Because I, I feel it. It's definitely, it, it's a powerful emotion that I have for her. And and I definitely felt it, like it was potent in that one, one specific moment. How long have you guys been seeing each other for? And so the reason why I'm asking how long it's been is because I don't recommend saying I love you before six months to give you enough time to learn more about each other because love is acceptance. It's not just what you do. It's not just what you feel. If you feel, but you do nothing, that's not quite love because love is a verb. It's what you do. I love you. I said, if I'm hitting you and I say, I love you, I don't love you. Love is a verb. It's what you do. Somebody who's being mean to you, abusive to you, not good to you is not loving you. So they might say, I love you, but they're not loving you. Love is what you do. It's also acceptance. I see you. I accept you. I don't accept what my mom does. I do not love that part of her. My mom is not in my life. I'm not loving my mom. I'm not loving my mom because she can't be in my life. If I let her come in my life and I try to love her, she's not loving me back because the actions towards me are not loving. Yes, yeah, so I just looked sure but it was october 8th that we made it like facebook official and like openly exclusive before that point we were just still dating right april is when you can say i love you kjw so April. Okay. <laughs> and in the meantime use language right like you did use language that describes your emotions use language this is this is the beauty of this time is that you're not rushing to things. You're being expressive. You're not rushing to, I love you. You're not skipping, I'm so grateful for you. I appreciate you so much. I'm so happy you're in my life. I adore you. I'm so fond of you. You're not skipping those words and jumping straight to, I love you. You're finding communicative ways to express what you think and feel. Just like if you, Use a no kissing for three months dating rule. You're finding communicative ways to express what you think and feel. When I did a panel of men, is the old video, you'll find it on my YouTube channel, but I talked to three men about the no kissing for three months dating rule. And one of them was currently doing it with a woman. And that's exactly what he said to me. I love this because we're finding new and different ways to express ourselves, express our gratitude, express our appreciation, express our feelings. Get your paper bags from Amazon, get your ebook bundle deals, get your audio books. All those buttons are in the link tree in my bio.